Hey Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 5.8, number 33. So some of the important words as we read through this is it says y varies inversely with the cube root of x. And then if we take a look at our complete ordered pair, we know when x is 27, y is 5. And then the last piece of information they asked us to figure out is find y when x is 125. So let's start to piece all of this together. If I say y varies inversely with the cube root of x, that tells me I can write my variation equation as k over the cube root of x. Now, why I'm using division here instead of multiplication is because of the word inversely, and why I have a cube root is because I literally have that phrase, the cube root of x. So that's where you see my variation equation popping up. And then the next step in all of this is to take your complete ordered pair, and they're telling us we have the ordered pair 27, 5, and plug that into your variation equation and solve 4k. So I know 5 is equal to k over the cube root of 27, right? And if I want to rewrite that, I can say 5 is equal to k over 3. And then if I want to multiply both sides by 3 over here, so let me go ahead and multiply this by 3, multiply this by 3, we're going to see this cancels out. Let me head back to blue. Here I would get 15 was equal to k, or really another way to write that is k is equal to 15. And that's what you see me doing here. Now, the way I wrote it up in the solutions was I solved this variation equation for k, and then I plugged in my x and y value. You can do it that way, or if you want, you can just um, solve for k by plugging into the original variation equation. Either way, k is 15. So now what I'm taking a look at is I have, oops, excuse me, this equation here, but I know my k value. So that's why you see me jumping down to y is equal to 15 over the cube root of x. And then the last part says find y when x is 125. So I'm going to plug in x equaling 125 here and solve for y. So when I do that, I have 15 over the cube root of 125. Well, the cube root of 125 is 5. 15 over 5 is 3, so that's where I get my equation, or I should say my solution, y equals 3. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.